before the MBA. I was a director of a company and we were working on acquiring a mine in South Africa. We traded in London, Johannesburg, Toronto, and in order to continue being the CFO from a small company to a large company, I had to have a financial designation. So I needed an MBA. It is a dizzying height when you know that everybody is depending on you to come forth with the information and it's got to be right. It was like an aha moment, like saying, I wouldn't be doing this had I not got my EMBA. The Executive MBA provided great conversation, and I know we have to call them discussions, but debates. It was up to you to offer an opinion, then offer a strong argument. I found that very useful because those were the kind of conflicts of opinion that I have to deal with when I was dealing in countries in, in Bolivia and Spain and we did work all over the world. You have to adhere to people's viewpoints, you have to adhere to that particular set of rules and regulations. I must admit that I have, even though they're dusty, I've taken some of the books off the shelf. You know, there was a certain case study that, uh, that we went through that um, had similar attributes to something that I was dealing with. It does give you the tools so that you can adapt to the different crises that ar arrive in, in management. It doesn't matter what industry you're in or what sector you're in. I think that we've got a good toolbox.